I just realized I didn't put the rest of my makeup on. Oh, hi! Welcome to another Nest With Me. Today I'm in Loki's room because I need to attack her clothes, her toys, and her books. I want to go through everything, organize it, straighten it, and with her clothes I need to see if anything doesn't fit her and I have in our spare bedroom. If you didn't see my first Nest With Me, I'll leave it up in the cards. But there are so many clothes in there that are too big for her. So we got a lot of hand-me-downs. And what I do is I transfer them into her room when they start fitting her. And I also have extra drawers where I keep stuff that are like sizes that are a little bit bigger. All of that. But I'm going to go through it and show you everything. So let's just get right into all of the madness. I'm starting off the closet by taking out any of the hanging items that no longer fit and removing items that aren't seasonally appropriate, but I did keep some of the lightweight long sleeve dresses because we are still getting a lot of cool days here in Pennsylvania. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat, paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves. Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a minute they'll never get out of. This is where I start to feel overwhelmed. All of these dresser drawers are jam-packed, and I wasn't sure what items were where or what size everything was. It was seriously clothing overload. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where to start. I just kind of walked through her room up in the closet up there. I don't know if I really showed you, but there was like some baskets with some bigger clothes in. And then in the spare bedroom, I look kind of like browsed through the closet. And I didn't even look at the stuff on the floor, but holy cannoli, there is so much. I'm so overwhelmed. I think I just, I need to start in her room. I need to take a breath. And I just need to go through every drawer, one drawer at a time, and just take out anything that doesn't fit. <sighs> yeah. So much. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> let's, let's start sorting through these drawers. I'm starting out with the pajama drawer first. I need to take out any 3T pajama sets because they no longer fit her. And you'll see after I clear everything out, I was finally able to put all of her nightgowns in this drawer too. I love when I can condense things down and fit all the like items in one spot. Next was all the t-shirts. I knew I couldn't keep all of them, otherwise they wouldn't all fit in the drawer. So I decided to give away any shirts that were too similar, or if I didn't think Loki would wear it, I passed along as well. She typically wears dresses, even to play outside, so I definitely don't need a massive t-shirt collection for her. I was originally going to take out all of the sweatpants and dedicate this drawer to just leggings and shorts, but since I have this space for a dedicated shorts drawer, I decided against it. Plus, if I take the sweatpants out, then I would have to find a new place to store them. Nice. Me me 
I really struggled with the shorts drawer, mostly because I have no idea what size will fit her. So for now, I'm not really going to get rid of many of the shorts. I will need to find out if the 3T shorts from last year still fit her, since Loki is in between sizes right now. Once I make her try on a few things, I can go back at a later date and reorganize and declutter this drawer more. <laughs> Here's a little overview of our spare bedroom. All of this down here is stuff that Loki is going to be fitting into. So larger sizes, 4T, 5T, and up. I need to get into her room. For now, I'm just moving some of the mess out of the way so I can reach all of the clothing. I will come back another day and organize all the baby toys, books, and extra blankets. So if you look forward to more Nest With Me videos, make sure to give this one a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying this Nest With Me series. Just as an FYI, all of the clothes on the floor have been washed. Originally when I received all these clothes, I thought I could just fit everything in her drawers, but I desperately underestimated the amount we were given. Now that I have finally picked up some plastic bins to store it all in, I can start clearing up this giant mess. I'm going through this massive pile of clothes and sorting everything. Items that won't fit Loki until the fall or winter I will be putting in the plastic bins and anything that she will fit into this summer will go in separate piles depending on whether they get folded or put in the drawers. I want to take a minute to introduce myself to anyone that's new tuning into today's Nest With Me cleaning video. My name is Patty and I'm a full-time working mama, but I am currently out on leave for the duration of my pregnancy. On this channel, I love to film cleaning motivation and organization, day in the life vlogs, and the occasional grocery haul. I would love for you to stick around and join my little YouTube family. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers and I couldn't feel more blessed. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button down below. Also feel free to introduce yourself in the comments so we can all get to know each other. So far for the piles, all this stuff right here is stuff that she can no longer fit into. It must have just gotten stuck under all the piles. This bin is stuff I can pull out next year. And then the stuff right here is going to be stuff that she can fit into now. And then same thing with these two right here are gonna be things that she can fit into next year. So I'm gonna pack them in another bin. Okay, so for over here next to the bin is holiday stuff with I think I'm gonna put in one of those empty drawers. These are dresses she can fit into right now that I gotta put on hangers. And these are like 4T that I think I'm just gonna stick into one of her drawers. They're like shorts and a couple skirts, so not that much. It looks a little messy right now, but in a couple minutes, this is gonna be cleared out. Now that I have a decent pile in the hallway, I will pack up these clothes to give to my cousin so her daughter can eventually use them. I love receiving hand-me-downs, but I also love when I can pass along my gently used items to another mom. I highly encourage you to ask around, especially if you are on a tight budget. You can find almost anything for babies and toddlers at a reduced price or for free. Right 
call me crazy, but since I have a free drawer, I'm actually dedicating it to holiday outfits and pajamas. I just like the idea that it's all in one spot so when we get close to the holidays, I know exactly where everything is. <laughs> I can't believe all of this right here is just three and four T dresses for the most part. Like that is insane. I was like over half of this closet. Like some of this is just like pajamas and like stuff that's too big or holiday things. And then over here is like some fancy stuff and like some of my dresses that <laughs> simply aren't gonna fit me this summer. That pile that was all the way back there was also like three and four T dresses. Let me feel your love again. I'm going to get the rest of these dresses hung and put away. I need to box up the rest of the clothes that won't fit Loki right now. And I also need to find homes in her drawers for the items she can wear now. After all that is complete, I think I will finally have all her clothes organized, which will feel amazing. I have wanted to check this off my list for a really long time now. Everything is alright. Oh, I wanna be with you. Okay, I thought I would pause for a minute and show you what I have done so far. I can't believe like how much better this looks. It was daunting, but it was well needed. And it's like almost 12 o'clock. Like, I didn't even realize what time it is. So I probably stop after this, have some lunch and then get back to doing stuff in her room. But let me show you all of the clothes and I'll show you kind of in both rooms that we have going. Look at the difference in here. Oh my gosh, you can actually see the floor. It is insane, but I'll show you the closet. <sighs> There's still a lot of stuff in here. From here over is stuff that she could wear for spring and summer, but I will kind of sort that through and put it in her closet when it gets a little bit warmer. I only put the t-shirt dresses in her closet right now. And then the two bins out here, they are stuff that she's going to grow into, but I won't even have to look at it until fall. So I just packed it up in the bins and then it's out of the way. This stuff just has to get put back into the spare bedroom. I just filled up her closet. There's some things that are in the wash that I'll kind of put in, but I just put a couple of the like long sleeve thin jackets in here that she can start wearing and some of the more springy t-shirt dresses everything stayed in the same order but I just kind of refixed all her t-shirts and then there's tank tops in the back and I took some of the long sleeve stuff out this just stayed the same underwear and socks and I mostly just kept her pants how they were I just put all the sweatpants in the back it's all stuff that she could probably still wear in like the fall so I figured I'm just gonna leave it here I have the space to do it her shorts I mostly kept in here for now there's a mix of 3t and 4t I actually don't know if the 3t shorts are gonna fit so I figured once it gets a little bit warmer for that I can kind of try some of it on her and see if it fits okay and down here is just a mix of all of the bathing suits which I already know fit her because we already went through that one together. This dresser is basically just her pajamas and then everything else is stuff that she would grow into. So I was able to put all of her pajamas in this drawer now. So all of her nightgowns and all of the other shorts, t-shirts and long pant ones. This drawer looks a little mess, but these were those couple of things that I had found that she might fit into and like skirts and stuff. So like I said, when it gets warmer, I will tackle that a little bit more and organize it a little bit better. This drawer I can barely open, but it is more t-shirts and I think some tank tops that are like 14 up. 
<laughs> I forgot. This drawer I can't open at all because the drawer is actually broken, but it's all of those like shorts. I don't think there's any skirts, but all shorts that are 40 and up. And then I put down here all of the holiday stuff so that I can just find it and it's all in order. So Halloween, my favorite. Thanksgiving, Christmas, all in one spot, easy to find. Now I'm going through most of the books and toys in her room. I was surprised because I thought I was going to get rid of way more than I did. Regardless, it's still nice to take inventory and organize everything from time to time. You can find the most random things hiding in unexpected spots. If you have a toddler, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm in the basement now. Remember how I said there was a big bin with baby clothes? Yeah, that's this gray one down here. Then I've got some toys and it's probably stuff I'm gonna keep for baby boy. And then back there I know is some more baby stuff and like shoes and stuff that's already packed. I wanna go through this big thing so that I have all of the bags ready for my cousin to pick up. And then I can get it out of my house. <laughs> This bin is going to take some time to go through. I don't know if you can fully tell how large it is, but I can definitely fit my pregnant self in it and shut the lid. I wasn't sure what sizes I would find or how much of each size, so I started out by grouping things in piles and adjusting as I went. I actually found way more baby clothes than I thought I was going to, so I'm just gonna keep them in this bin for right now, and hopefully I can find another mama that needs them. That took forever to go through. I have it sectioned off in different piles, like over here is what size is so like 12 months um this is just some random like pool stuff and socks i just want to make sure i put it in like the the closest to whatever she would fit in 
This is all 18, like, slash stuff that says 18 to 24. This is, like, 24 to T back here. Now, granted, I'm not going to give her any of this because she's already outgrown all of this, but for some reason in my mind, I was like, wow, I'm, like, running into a lot of it, so I decided to sort all of this. So there's, like, newborn to three months, three to six months, like, six to nine months, nine to 12 months stuff. Uh, like, some of the 12-month stuff that, like, I'm like, uh, she's going to, like, outgrow before it gets to that season. This is where it all started and stuff that she's not going to fit into, anything that's, like, below nine months. And then in the back there, I actually have stuff that I think will work for baby boy. So now, my trusty trash bags again. I just need to start putting this into the trash bags, labeling it, and I'm just going to stick it on this portion over here. So whenever she can make it over here, if it, even if it's not for a couple weeks, that's fine. At least it's out of the way, it's all sorted and ready for her. So let me start bagging all of this up. And watch me awkwardly get up because I've been sitting on this hard ground forever. Oh my gosh. Look at this with the help of YouTube magic everything is cleaned so over here I ended up just throwing everything that was not gonna fit my cousin's baby into this bin with a couple of shoes I've got three bags over here plus one upstairs that's like 12 month 18 and then like 24 to 3 T and then the little white bin over there is stuff for baby boy uh, it is getting pretty late. I've got to go pick up Loki and I have to take KJ to go pick his car up first before we do that. So I'm going to wrap up today's portion. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to be filming anything else for this video. So let's just do a little outro for you guys. <laughs> this has been so much today. It is crazy. I got so much done. I feel so much better and now I can really tackle the rest of that spare bedroom because there was a lot of bedding in there if you could see and blankets which is going to be its own separate video but yes I got a lot of this clothes done I even talked to my cousin and she's like good excited to pick this stuff up at some point so I feel really good glad I have a couple more things for baby boy and Loki's clothes are more organized now so I'm pretty happy with today because like having these past three weeks with her home every day while I love having her home every day um, certain things like if I'm trying to do something in her room that's not gonna work with her home or in the spare bedroom <laughs> not gonna work so I'm glad I was finally able to get that done so if you enjoy this nest with me series make sure to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell all that fun stuff because there's definitely going to be more Nest With Me videos. So <laughs> let me take a big deep breath again. You know, like when you get to a certain point, you're just like, I just can't take a breath any anytime. But yes, I really hope you enjoy and thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.